That's DB. I'm Ravi Lula. It's time for Bet On It, brought to you by Warhorse Sportsbook. Make sure you get to the casino in Omaha this weekend on Saturday. You can win $500 of free slot play every half hour between 6 and 10. Then at 1030, they're going to give away $10,000 cold hard cash to one lucky guest. Make sure you get to warhorsecasino.com for all the details. DB, there are a lot of interesting college games this week as well. Yes, there are. And I am I'm I'm intrigued. I've got I think about 10 here. 10. 10. Yeah. 10 that I'm interested in. First one is that Syracuse pick game tonight. Yeah, I'll take uh I'm going to take I'm going to lay the six. You're going to lay the six? I'll take Pitt. You're, you're taking Pitt here? Yeah. I don't know what to do with Pitt yet. Me neither. I really don't. I kind of like Syracuse, though. And I don't know if it's just because McCord's playing so well. It's because or... what you saw them do on the road a couple weeks ago on a weeknight. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. And then you look, oh, look at McCord's numbers. You're like, oh, man, he's kind of tearing it up a little bit. You feel yeah. pretty good about it. Because that was at UNLV, right? Yeah. 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 That, and I and I like. I think UNLV's good. So. And, Yeah. I mean, they are good. I'm going to see. So they're going to. It's three tomorrow night against Boise, right? That one's super interesting, too. Yeah. Just three. Which is uh, also that. Why, why is every kid in the Metro copying Jaunty, Jaunty's stance, though? Because <laughs> they think it's cool, man. Man. Just stand there like a. Statue. I don't even know how you get going. Because <laughs> every time he takes, you know, I don't know. It works for him, uh, clearly. <laughs> I think just is, about anything works for that guy. He is incredible. No, it's all of these group of five games though have just gotten super interesting mm-hmm. because of what just happened to Liberty too. One of the one of the teams that was in probably pole position or close to it. To well, like I said, I wish I I would have I could have said when we went to Kennesaw State, it was to see the football <laughs> program. It wasn't. It was to see the baseball stadium. I don't think anybody goes to Kennesaw State. It was the only. It was program. probably only about. about 15, 20 minutes from where we were. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it's a great campus, great baseball it's, facility. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like it's Atlanta Metro, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great, great place. It's, but it was beautiful. Not what people think of as a football school. Yeah. So these group of five games are getting super interesting. Speaking of which, we've got Notre Dame and my guys. You know I love a service academy. Notre Dame and Navy this week. Oh, that's a big number. Um the effusive praise that Navy was giving Notre Dame is incredible. And are they paying to not have this game? Like, is Notre Dame paying to play this game someplace else? I, I'm not. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm pretty. Sure. I'm pretty sure they broke Navy off a check. And we're like, <laughs> hey, let's play here. <laughs> um, let's go. What is it? Fourteen. Uh, twelve. Yeah, I'm checking the updated. It's thirteen and a half now. Uh, I will take. God, they historically play it close. Why the big number? I don't know. Notre Dame is in, is really really good defensively they right are. now, though. And Riley Leonard starting to play better. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll lay the points. I'll take. I'm. I'm not a big faves guy, but I'm two for two right now. I'm a. I'm a Navy guy, so yeah. we're taking. We're taking the midshipman. Navy divers stand down. You disregard. <laughs> this is my detail. A Navy, a Navy diver is not a fighting man. He is a salvage expert. Just don't. Don't start calling anybody Cookie. All right. Yeah, and I'm. I'm all <laughs> what is, the way what out. Is that from? I'm all the way out on Cuba Gooding Jr. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, what's that? Robert De Niro, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. What's the uh, What's the name of that movie? The diver movie. No, it's not called the diver. No, movie. no, but it's the dive. It's the movie it's, about the navy diver that gets yes, that's yes, hurt, whatever. Yes. Eddie's. <laughs> that's a good movie. It's a yeah. It's a real good movie. Good. Uh, next one I've got for my college games this week. Do you care at all about Oklahoma Ole Miss? No. Okay, we'll move on then. Illinois and Oregon. I don't even know who's playing for Oklahoma. Why would you uh, cap that? I'm. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> ask what. I didn't ask what your pick was. Just do you care? <laughs> what's the What's the number? Uh, the number is. Minus twenty for Ole Miss. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, even. I don't, I don't know even know do who's it. dressing for Oklahoma. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with it. Apparently, Jackson Dart's going to start, though. We know that. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it's Oklahoma. your Dart game, right? You love all. some Jackson Dart. I like darts, the game. I do not like Jackson. How Dart, many people's the quarterback. pens and their balloons burst with that ten win that everybody was on for Ole Miss to start the season? Ooh, that that's a <laughs> their schedule got a lot harder than people thought it was going to yeah. be. Yeah. Like it looked pretty manageable, and all of a sudden, they're looking at no fun when the rabbits got the gun. One and two in the SEC, yeah. looking up at a lot of teams, yeah. uh, including Missouri and Alabama. This is kind of like an elimination game. I just almost. don't think Missouri's very good, but I don't know about. Bama. I'll say it's Bama. 
they're so dysfunctional on the sidelines. Yeah. Um, minus 16 and a half, Alabama. Gosh, that's huge. I know. <laughs> um, this sounds dumb, but I'm going to lay it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm think I'm going Missouri here. I'm going. They're oh, not very good. I don't either. But Alabama's dysfunctional. Okay. I I trust dysfunction less than I trust. I, I usually do too. I but I'm not. I there's no way. All right, Texas Vanderbilt. Um, it's down to eighteen and a half now. I still think the numbers right. So you're going Texas. I'm gonna take Texas. You man, you. I know this is incredible. Love big favorites. That's it's incredible. It Just goes, as it's, much as you it's, hate man to man defense. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> A lot of misnomers. I'm out taking. There. All right, I'm I'm taking Vandy at home. Yeah, give do, me Vandy at home. Do, big, your, do your thing. Big Pavia guy. Uh, Penn State, Wisconsin. So what is it? Six and a half. Six and a half. At Camp Randall. I really, I know you don't love Penn State. I don't at all, but I really need them to win this game. And Wisconsin's playing better. better. Um, Although you know competition, you know whatever. Uh, I'm gonna take. The any lines on the road. This one's this one's tough. No, oh, I it is. I don't want to. I I don't want to just be the dog guy. I think uh, I go Wisconsin here. I I could. This feels ten, like a hiccup for me. This feels like I could go over. Yes, <laughs> because I while I'm not super worried about Ohio State looking ahead, I maybe am a little worried about Penn State looking ahead. Yeah, uh, I like I like Penn State because this this Ohio State game is kind of their whole season. Yeah, I I think I'm gonna go. I there think. hasn't one of these picks so far where I have any where you con- feel good any conviction. No, it's this this is a, that's why I think it's a good slate. Yeah, but here's the deal. I only pay attention to the games that I think I can understand the line. Sure. And you haven't picked one yet. Yeah, I'm I'm putting you in the games that I like. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Not that I like to bet, just that I think I'm going to like to watch, yeah. right? Um LSU, Texas A&M, two and a half. So, I'm going to take LSU because mm-hmm. I'm very principled. What's your principle? Less than a key number at home, the teams are even. Mm. So you either take AM on the money line, but they won't win by two and a half. That, take, that I feel good. I, I feel good about. I'll take a I'm taking AM here. So listen, you're gonna give me one thirty five on the money line. Well, I'll just take the money line. That's fine. Okay, one thirty five on the money line. Yeah. But two and a half is one ten. No, I gotcha. Yeah, get either. It, no, for the money, for the money at one hundred percent. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go a And M, the play yeah. is the money line. Yep, I one hundred percent agree yep. there. Yep. Um, which you can do whatever you want over a warhorse. You, you can do. do whatever you want. You can, no, it's whatever. That's C, that's T I, not Texas A and M. That's oh, different. All right. I think LSU might be a little fraudulent, okay. and I think A and M's defense is really good. Yeah. A and M got dinged really hard for a loss to a good Notre Dame team. <laughs> and the, the, just the back and forth on Wegman is incredible. Yeah, I'm not a huge Wegman oh, he's guy. Good. He's not good. That's oh, my. They're better without him. Oh, he didn't play. Oh, good. I, I I'm not know. a huge Nussmeier guy either, though. So, Get, um, although he's cooking, he's playing. He's playing better. Uh, last one that I've got, and then you can tell me why I didn't pick any of the right games. <laughs> SMU and Duke. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> Nothing See, the, I like to bet on more. games that I want to watch mm-hmm. instead of watching games that I bet on. Oh, less anxiety? No, it's just I, I want to have a stake a in the game. Uh, what, I, another vested interest? Yeah, I would like having a stake in a game I want to watch. What a wackadoodle. I am a weird guy. SMU Duke. It's minus 11 and a half for the ponies. You know I'm a big Mustangs guy. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll take SMU. SMU, 11 and a half. I, can I get a dog in there? Is LSU the only dog that I like? LSU is the only dog. I'm kind of a took. dog guy, too. I'm going SMU as well. The only favorites that I took were A&M and SMU. The rest, I was riding dogs. All right, so which ones did I miss? Well, I, I, I'll just I'll, – can I bet that dog? I'm going to give you a way to make easy money. Can I bet you, that dog? It's going to happen today. What's up? Uh, Number one, take the Rams. You like the Rams today. Yeah, uh, and – um, Plus three. Yep. Feel really, really good about that. They have to win this game. And I'm going to pick against the eventual Stanley Cup champion tonight. Mm. I'm going to take the Boston Bruins at home. The Boston Bruins. At home. Are they playing the Avalanche? No, the other NHL <laughs> champion from this year, the, the <laughs> Dallas Stars. <laughs> Dallas is going to win the Cup. Ba- uh, Boston Bruins at home. Yep. Against Dallas. Correct. That's your one. And and, and the Rams. Rams plus three yeah. against the Vikings. Yep. Is that just must win for the Rams? I just like the matchup. Mm-hmm. And I like the line better. And what you guys can do after you go 2-0 tonight, 
you just come to this back door. I like snacks to get on the plane because I don't eat a lot of. They have like cr- some bad stuff. Make sure they're meat snacks, though, guys. Meat, meat snacks, and just leave it at the door. DB's, or I'll let you in. DB's here for meat snacks. I'm here for bet on it. Brought to you by Warhorse Sportsbook. We'll be back with Bob Nightingale to talk a little World Series here on Herd Sports Radio. Talking baseball.